What? It's it's on? Are you sure? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Professor King D here with my assistant Rex. We are gonna show you this amazing new product. No, Rex, I'm teasing. It's something that you probably already have at home. It's going to help you to clean your penny. So we have a nice, bright, shiny penny here. It's so bright, I can hardly stand to look at it. Then we have this kind of, uh, it's even got some green on it. This one, uh, yeah, I don't think, um, I don't know how we're going to get that clean. So, and this one, not a penny, sorry. So, how are we going to clean these pennies? What are pennies made of? They're made of copper. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. But for this experiment, we're going to see which works best. Soapy water, vinegar. So what do you think? Yes, Rex, I was getting to that. So you don't have to just use vinegar. You can use lemon juice or pickle juice, which Rex wanted. I did not. I voted for vinegar. So we're going to use that. Uh, just a uh, side note, it is kind of stinky. So um, the lemon juice probably would have smelled better. I don't think the pickle juice would have, no. But we tried the vinegar. Just be very careful. Vinegar, any of those things, like lemon juice, pickle juice, that can burn your eyes, your nose. So just be very careful when you're working with this. So you might want to get someone to help you. So soapy water, that also can burn. We've got a cup of soapy water. A cup with just a tiny bit of vinegar in it. I've also got a cup of plain water to rinse it off. And then we're going to see. So this experiment takes 10 minutes. So we're going to see. Rex, what do you think? Time me. What? No. I'm not going to make you wait. I already had these ready. So this has been longer than 10 minutes. So we're going to see. I don't know what you think. If it's going to be the soap or the vinegar. Let's find out. So I'm going to try the soap first. So let's get that out. I'm going to dip it in the plain water. I'm going to use a paper towel. Kind of rub it off. Ah, I don't know. Mm. I don't see any change in that penny. And it, it looked about like this one. In fact, that one looks cleaner. It certainly doesn't look as clean as that bright shiny one and no not even close to that one yet so let's see how the vinegar did I'm going to be very careful with this one because I don't want it to get all over me it's messy. Ugh. so now we're going to rub it I don't know I see a little change I see a little brightness so I see a little more you can kind of see it's not going to be as shiny as that new one but I can see a little bit of brightness around the edges. So that original copper color is starting to show. So why soap usually cleans things, right? Why did the vinegar work? The vinegar has an acid in it and that helps with the copper. So the copper, when it's exposed to the air, the oxygen in the air, it oxidizes. And you can even see this one that's turned green. It's not mold, it's verdigris. So after the copper has been exposed to air for a while, it will change to that green color. So it's kind of pretty, but it looks gross. So I don't know if that would, the vinegar would clean that. Do you think maybe a toothbrush might work better to scrub it? I just used a paper towel. I'm thinking the more I rub on this, it looks like it is getting a little bit shinier. But I don't think this one, I don't think that's gonna help. So maybe a toothbrush, this was 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, 15 minutes you could try, 30 minutes. Um, you think it would work on the nickel? So the nickel, I was researching pennies today. Pennies used to be made out of copper. Nickels were made out of nickel. Well, guess what? Copper is more expensive right now, so the new pennies have less copper than a nickel. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But um, the new blend is called Cupro Nickel. What? No, not Chupacabra. Cupro Nickel. It's a, it's a combination of copper and nickel. 
So today's pennies do not have as much copper as nickels, dimes. In fact, that's one reason the penny was made out of copper. It's about the size of a dime, actually a little bit bigger, but if it was silver like a dime, you would get that mixed up in your change. So pennies are still copper looking. And that is why the vinegar will help. Uh, lemon juice, yes, Rex. Pickle juice would work too. I don't know, I haven't tried the pickle juice. I don't know how much better, but they both have acid in them. That's what would burn your eyes too and your nose. Uh, I don't know what causes the stinky smell, Rex, no. But that vinegar is very strong, so be very careful. You don't have to wear the goggles like me. I just like to put them on. So, we've covered our experiment here. Again, maybe see if an old toothbrush, don't use your new toothbrush, please. You don't want to use it after the vinegar. Use an old toothbrush or something that has bristles on it to scrub it, maybe 30 minutes. Or what about just trying to clean it with a towel? I don't think that's going to help unless you've had the vinegar or the soap on it. So, cleaning pennies. You could also see, try it with the nickel to see if it might shine it up a little bit because it does have some copper in it, but it's not going to ever look like this nice, bright, shiny penny. All right, well, thank you for watching today. Rex, yes, you were a big help today. So we want to give Rex a nice little hand for helping us out. So that wraps up my penny experiment for today. And Rex, yes, he says, please like us on Facebook. Ta-ta for now. Yeah, I thought you were in it enough, Rex.